we're doing everything we can to make clear to, to Moscow that it has two paths before it, the path of diplomacy and dialogue uh, to resolve differences peacefully, uh, or the path of aggression, if that's what it chooses, and the massive consequences that will flow uh, from that. And for each path, we're, we're fully engaged and we're, we're fully uh, preparing. What we can see is this. Uh, we can see uh, a massing of Russian forces on Ukraine's borders, uh, the south, the east, the north, uh, that is uh, larger than at uh, any time since, uh, since 2014. Uh, and we're uh, aware of plans uh, to uh, double the size of those forces on very, very short notice, as well as efforts to destabilize Ukraine from within. So we have to do uh, everything uh, that we're doing based on, uh, on the facts, based on, on what we're seeing, to make sure that we're prepared either way. Last night in Moscow, Ambassador Sullivan gave Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Grushko the formal U.S. written response to the Russian ultimatums. Uh, among other things, the U.S. response reportedly includes a demand that Russia pull out forces not only from Ukraine, but also from Transnistria and from Georgia. The Kremlin has already made clear its displeasure. So tell us, what's in the U.S. response to the Russians? So, uh, two things there. First of all, um, uh, I've heard a, 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 vari a variety of initial responses from different people uh, in Russia. Uh, to the, the paper that we shared with them, uh, as well as to the paper that NATO shared with them. Uh, but the uh, response that, that counts is uh, President Putin's response. And to the best of our understanding, according to the Russians, uh, these papers are on his desk. And uh, we'll look forward to, um, uh, to his response, which I'm sure will be conveyed uh, through uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov uh, and others uh, in the days ahead. Uh, that's, what, uh, that's what matters most. Uh, We've been uh, very clear about uh, about the the papers that we shared with uh, with Russia yesterday. Um, we have listened to the concerns that they've raised. Uh, we have shared very profound concerns of our own, uh, as well as those of allies and partners uh, throughout Europe about actions that Russia has taken uh, and continues to take that threaten security uh, throughout the uh, Euro Atlantic area. And we put forward some uh, areas uh, and, and broad ideas about how we could, if Russia meaningfully engages on a basis of reciprocity, how we could actually strengthen collective security uh, for everyone. Uh, and so the question really now is uh, what path will President Putin choose? Will he choose to engage on what I think is a, uh, a meaningful path forward on diplomacy to see if we can enhance collective security? Or will he renew Russia's aggression against Ukraine? Either way, we're prepared.